The drought is hitting cattle producers back at home hard this year. In parts of Gregory County, South Dakota, there are many ranchers who are wondering if they'll have to reduce their herds or lose money by feeding them. Tom Hansen has more. Andy Wannenberg is a fourth generation rancher and runs several thousand acres in Gregory County. Inspecting his pasture with some of his kids, they're starting to see a lot of grasshoppers that will, of course, eat the resources meant for his cattle. Hay ground and pastures are producing less grass this year because of the extreme heat and lack of moisture. Our forage production is about 60% of normal. So the hay and the pasture, you know, both. So our hay is going to be way short, and then our pastures. A lot of them will probably be done by the 1st of September. The extreme heat has baked the moisture right out of some areas of pasture land. And Andy says some of his young calves are starting to get sick from inhaling and ingesting dust. And then the calves get dust pneumonia from it being so dry and dusty in the heat. And so it causes a lot of sickness. So you have to continually treat them or or else it's fatal. Andy's brother Hank is a rancher and also an ag banker. He says the cattle market hasn't been good for a few years, so adding the drought on top of that is hurting most ranchers. In a standard year in this area, people raise enough feed for their to feed their livestock throughout the year and hopefully also have some cash crop that they can market for extra income for their operation. Um, when a year like this comes along, they not only don't have the cash crop to sell, but they have to supplement the, the hay they raise because they don't get enough. Hay is hard to find, and even if they can find it, it is expensive. Hank believes being able to adapt is the key to survival for some ranchers. You keep faith and you try to stick with these guys. They're hard workers and they're knowledgeable, and, and uh, they'll, they'll find a way to get through it.